Hey guys, what's up? In this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating some designs, uh, some intro section designs that are inspired by Linear. And you can see a bunch of these designs on different websites that are now following a very similar Linear-like purplish, bluish, dark theme. Um, like for example, the Reflect app, which I think is done greatly. And all credit to August or I'm not even sure like how to pronounce his name, but I mean, great designer. Similarly, we have other sites using a very similar pattern with a dark background with the galaxy uh, stars and stuff along those lines with some lighting from the top. Then we have Cobalt using grids as well. So obviously Linear uses grids as well. If we actually just scroll down, uh, you have these bento style elements, then you have elements like these, you have some grid lines like these as well. And I mean, it's very common in sites like these to use grids to use uh, stars like these. So again, stars, grids, these colors, dark theme, it's very symbolic of the linear style. So let's just go ahead and actually create some of those styles. So <clears throat> let's say if we actually wanted to create a lights or maybe even let's say let's first go with the galaxy so what i'm going to do is if i actually want the galaxy duplicated i'm just going to go ahead and i'm actually just going to copy my frame and i'm going to delete everything here what i'm going to do is i'm just going to insert a two by two circle and then i'm just going to duplicate the circle obviously i can make it white and then let's just go ahead and duplicate it so i have a bunch of circles here i don't need necessarily need to count how many circles i mean it depends on the variation you actually need then I'm just going to create another maybe square <clears throat> and I'm going to duplicate it multiple times as well so there you go we have some squares as well and I think this should fairly be it I mean if you want to draw some stars as well we can go ahead and do that so I'm just going to go to the shape tool here I'm going to say that I want to let's say draw a star and I can go ahead and I can draw a two pixel star if I want to. I can also go ahead and define like how big the star is going to be, the count. Maybe I think I've usually seen stars like this as well, which I think really look good in a pattern like this. So I'm just going to go ahead and actually just duplicate these as well. So once I have that, like my galaxy is almost ready. I'm just going to select the whole frame. I'm going to say randomizer and I'm going to say I want to randomize the position. And once I do that, you basically have a galaxy like feel here. And I think the job is pretty much done. If you now want to go ahead and actually <clears throat> tweak the opacities a bit, you can do that as well. So what we can do now is we can just go ahead. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to select a random layer and I'm going to say, I want to select, let's say 50% of these elements. So it's going to select 50% and I'm just going to reduce the opacity to maybe 40. So now, as you can see, it's much lighter and it's giving that galaxy sort of a feel. So once I'm done with that, I can just basically group all of these objects, copy them and paste them here. And you basically have a galaxy at the back and I'm just going to keep it at the back. So again, very simple stuff to actually create a galaxy like this. Now, if you actually obviously want a lot of elements in your galaxy, you can obviously create more duplicates of it as well if you want to. But I mean, this is done, right? Similarly, let's try something else. So we've done the galaxy. <clears throat> now let's try another effect here. I'm going to go ahead and try the light source coming from the top. So for a light source coming from the top, I'm just basically going to draw a simple rectangle. Nothing really complicated about it. I can obviously make it longer as well. I'm going to say there's going to be a linear style going on here uh, for the background. <clears throat> and let's just make it white. And if obviously we want this color to be slightly different as well, we can maybe change the shade a bit. And I'm going to copy this shade and I'm going to paste it here as well. So we have the same color and that's all you need to do. You now need to just go ahead and create an effect and say, I want to blur the layer and you can de define how much blurred it should be. Maybe 800 is sufficient, or maybe it should be a bit less, like maybe 80. And now you're going to go ahead and reduce the opacity or you can tilt it a bit. You can increase the size, do whatever. And now you can just basically move it off screen and rotate it a bit more, <clears throat> something like this. And if you want to scale it, you can scale it like this as well. Then you basically can duplicate it multiple times here. And if you want, obviously, you can go ahead and say that this is going to be smaller. This is going to be even more smaller. And maybe now they're going to be closer together. So you basically have these three lights coming from the top. If you now want, you can obviously center them as well. So you have an effect <coughs> like this. And I think it's good. Apologies for coughing a lot. Like I have a sore throat. 
One other thing that you can do to actually make these screens even look better is apply a gradient for, to the top. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to apply a gradient here, something like this. And I'm going to say this is going to be a linear gradient as well. And let's just go ahead and make it a bit larger, something like this. And the color for this gradient is also going to be something like this. Let's just copy this and paste it here as well. And I'm just going to say this is going to be here. Let's move it slightly below and reduce the color or reduce the opacity. Now, as you can see, it's giving a really nice galaxy feel sort of a thing. So, I mean, you can basically apply the same thing here. I'm just going to copy it. I'm going to apply the same thing here. Now, as you can see, this looks really great. I can see a lot of light coming in and don't worry about like, again, getting all of these things done exactly. I mean, you can play around with things. You can definitely move around. One other effect that I actually just want to cover is <clears throat> Uh, a grid layout. So grid layouts are obviously very common as well. So let's just go ahead and actually do our grid layout. I'm just going to delete the, the stars. In order to do a grid layout, um, I'm just going to first of all hide these image, these text elements, and then I'm going to basically draw a single one pixel line. And I'm just going to duplicate it. I'm going to create an auto layout. I'm going to define the spacing in between each grid line elements. Maybe it's 100. Maybe that's just something that I really like. I can also make this grid a bit larger. Let's just basically move it at the middle. And I can also go ahead and I can say, okay, this is already centered. So now let's just duplicate it. So we have our grid here. And I can just duplicate this as well. And I can say we have a grid like this. <clears throat> I can also remove the elements from the edges. Actually, once you're done with that, you can remove the grid as well. So you don't need to keep the auto layout. Sorry, you don't need to keep the auto layout here. So I'm just going to remove the auto layout. I don't really like uh, grids closed. So I'm just going to keep it like that. And then once we're done with that, we can go ahead and create a circle here. And obviously, I don't want the circle inside. So I'm just going to place it here. And this is going to be our mask for both of these elements. So I'm just going to group them. I'm going to select them. And I'm going to say this is going to be mask. So now, as you can see, this is looking uh, much nice if you can envision where we're going with this. And I'm just going to make it a bit larger. I'm going to say this is going to have a, a radial gradient. So we basically have something like this. And I'm just going to say that this is going to be a bit lighter. And again, we can choose the color if we actually want to choose it. We can say that this is going to start from this and it's going to end from this as well. And maybe this whole thing is also going to be reduced in opacity like 40%. And now if we, let's say, enable our stuff that we actually had, this looks much nicer. I don't think we actually need the top color coming in because we basically have the color at the center. So we can play around with that or maybe we can dim it a bit as well. And yeah, I think that's how you basically go about and do that. I'm just going to move my grid layer to the bottom. So these are just some nice effects that you can actually uh, create. Most of these linear like sites just basically have the galaxy basically everywhere. So what we're going to do is we're just going to duplicate and add the galaxy everywhere, as I just mentioned. And now, as you can see, these things are going to start standing out a bit more. One other effect that I just want to add is this one, which is just a globe. And then we have some light coming in. So again, that's very easy as well to do. So you, you're just going to create a globe or a circle. You're going to expand it. You're going to center it. You're going to basically give it the dark color that you have of your site. You don't want to deviate too much from that. And then you're going to add a stroke. You also want to pick actually even before everything. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to duplicate this as well. So we have another circle here. I'm just going to give it a random shape. Now let's just give it a fill of something like this and give it an effect of background blur. And we're going to blur it quite a lot, like maybe 500 pixels. Sorry, not background, layer blur. Uh, to 500 pixels. I think that sounds good. And let's just go ahead and obviously make it a bit brighter. Maybe this looks good. Now we're going to move it behind our uh, <clears throat> globe. And obviously, we're going to move everything at the bottom. So now it looks something like this, which I think looks good. We don't want our globe to be uh, at the bottom of the star. So we're not going to do that. And now what you need to do to add an, uh, just some minor flair to it and you can adjust the sizing here as well is to actually give it the stroke that you've applied on this particular thing so i'm just going to copy the stroke and i'm going to go here and i'm going to say this is going to have a linear stroke at the top here the stroke is going to be this 
and at the bottom obviously it can be the same as well but now we're just going to go ahead and we're going to reduce the stroke slightly to something like this so it feels like the stroke is actually being applied by the color and what we can do is we can even go ahead and make the stroke slightly brighter similar to what you see here uh, if we want to. The other thing I'd like to highlight, most of these sites really play with the dark background quite a lot. So you don't really want to make things too bright because if you make it too bright, then it basically starts losing its uh, effects or its subtlety. So I've made it a bit dark, uh, a bit lighter now, and I think it looks much better, but obviously you can play with any of the colors. What I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to be publishing this file on the community. I'm going to have the link of this file in the comments or the description or whatever. So you can definitely check it out. You can definitely use it in any of your sites. You can modify anything you want and just see how these effects are done. And that's going to be pretty much it. Do subscribe to hit the bell icon for more valuable content and um, to learn more how to become a great designer and to utilize the current trends that are going on. I really like this trend that's going on. I really like the look and feel that it basically provides but one thing that i don't like about this is most of these sites looking very similar because they keep on using the same style same patterns bento grids uh normal grids gradients and stuff along those lines a lot of these sites look very similar but again if you want to use it by all means go ahead